Okay. I'm here uh, in the water cube with a lovely Leila, uh, Franca, uh, as you can see, Franca Swartz. Please introduce yourself. Yes, thank you very much. My name is Franca Schwarz. I'm from Germany, the Federal Institute for Geosciences and Natural Resources, and I'm there responsible for groundwater mainly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and we, we had a quick talk uh, at the bar, at the German bar, which is great here in Stockholm. Thank you. Uh, you, you had a whole day uh, special uh, event. Uh, explain a little bit how that went. Yeah, we had yesterday a workshop about the three-dimensional management of water. We used three-dimensional because we wanted to go into the subsurface, so in the mm -hmm. underground, and taking into account that most of the people their drinking water supply relies on groundwater. This is really, really a big issue, mm -hmm. not only for developing countries, but as well for countries like mine. For example, as well in Germany, more or less about 80% of our drinking water is coming from the underground. Yeah. So it's an issue where we have to talk about it. And it was interesting yesterday to see many people really discussing from Nigeria, from India, from Sri Lanka, from Germany, Jordan, Lebanon and many other countries. So it was really interesting to see what benefits does it has, what problems, challenges, not only mm -hmm. in drinking water, but as well, for example, using it for, for mining purposes, mm -hmm. which is often neglected. And it's, uh, for example, in mining, you have a high economic value for many countries, so you cannot say mining is a bad thing. No, no, no. But there are rules that they have as well to apply. Yeah. And this was one of uh, really interesting results. Yeah. So uh, just Breach of old in your, you know, as in being an expert of groundwater issues, what, what are the real, the critical issues that really need to be addressed well, at, the, this, at this moment? What, uh, what is really interesting to, um, to address is that when talking about water management, you have to look really into the subsurface. Everybody would like to talk about, for example, the weather, yeah. but when you talk about the underground, you first have to get data, and this is a really critical thing, so it sometimes need months or years to get the right data or the right amount on data you can confess on, and then from there to take the right decisions. Mm -hmm. So this is not only as, as well a thing between scientists and politicians, but as well all the stakeholders, they have to be involved because all people are affected by good or bad groundwater governance. Okay, well, uh, thank you for this interview and maybe if you want to make a closing uh, remark to uh, the people who are going to see this worldwide. I really love to be here and I thank you as well very much, <laughs> Luke from ECFO, for giving the opportunity for many people to give messages to other people who have probably not the opportunity to attend the whole World Water Week 2011. Thank you very much, Franca.